Okay, here we are in 3D Via Composer, and I'm going to give you a really cool technical illustration tip. Before I do that, though, let's take a close look up at this gear. And one thing to be aware of in Composer is when you convert from the very accurate boundary representation of CAD, you determine your conversion settings, and that gives you tessellated geometry. Uh, you can see this here in the edge. It's not really a clean edge that you would get in a CAD file. You have a tessellated edge. And this is really to make sure that we've got very good performance. Uh, normally you don't notice it so much and uh, you can deal with whatever level of tessellation uh, you like. The challenge is when we want to use this tessellated 3D to generate high quality vector art. So here I'm going to create an illustration and you'll see the challenge that we get when we've got these tessellated edges. What you get is tessellated edges in your line art not a good thing at all because these should be elliptical edges not jagged edges and uh, you now the SVG becomes inf in, uh, bloated and inflated with all kinds of extra points and lines that should really not be there. Now one way to solve this is to reconvert the data and have a much higher accuracy uh, to get a cleaner edge uh, but this will create a much bigger 3D file and really hurt the performance and by the way since it's still not a BREP line the edge that you're going to get in your illustration is just going to have even more lines to deal with. So in Composer we solve this problem. We can keep the 3D uh, tessellation to have great performance and here in the settings we have ellipses generation. Now we need to be in orthographic mode and the way we do that is down here we have this button for camera perspective. Make sure that's turned off and uh, what happens is when we have that setting enabled Composer will understand that even though the, the tessellated edges uh, are there, it actually should be elliptical edges. So here's the old illustration with the jagged edges. And I'll hit refresh to load the new one. And you'll see all those get replaced with very clean elliptical edges, very good illustration. So Composer is giving you a great trade-off between great performance for 3D and amazing results for 2D. Now one other thing I wanted to show you real quick is that I'm actually running this demo here on my brand new Microsoft Surface running Windows 8 Pro. And you see the performance here is uh, quite good for 3D and uh, just so you know that I'm running uh, Windows if I swipe in from the right hand side there's my charms and so you know that I'm running it on an actual Surface and not just any Windows 8 thing. If you look here on the right hand side I can scroll, I'm using my finger to scroll here, and on the left hand side where the views are, I'll use my finger to scroll there. Now, I couldn't do that with a mouse, could I? So here I am running this great cool demo to show you high quality illustrations with high quality 3D and high performance 3D, and also running it on a Windows 8 Pro on a Microsoft Surface. So there you have it, my tip for the day. Thank you.